Hello, I'm Dr. Chris McGarrah from Warsaw, Indiana, and I am running for the United States House of Representatives from the 3rd Congressional District of Indiana. On May 5, 2020, there will be a Republican Party primary election. I will be challenging the career politician incumbent, Representative Jim Banks, for the 3rd District House seat. My position is that the Constitution was adopted to secure our God-given natural rights and liberties, and it should be followed faithfully 100% of the time. No exceptions. All laws for our representative republic shall be made only in pursuance of that Constitution. Between the tyranny of the massive administrative state and the chaos abroad, our rights and liberties are threatened on a daily basis. To illustrate the threat posed internally by the unconstitutional administrative state, I have for you to consider a tale of two cities, a tale of two bills. Let me give you a hint. These two bills were initiated 226 years apart on two different continents, but there is an eerie similarity. Why do you need to know these things? Well, as founder Patrick Henry said, and I quote, I have but one lamp by which my feet are guided, and that is the lamp of experience. I know no way to judge the future but by the past. End quote. Let's begin. H.R. 838, Threat Assessment Prevention and Safety Act, TAPS Act. Section 3.2 ABC, quote, Behavioral threat assessment and management means the systematic and evidence-based process of A, identifying individuals who are exhibiting patterns of concerning behavior that indicate an interest, motive, intention, or capability of carrying out an act of violence. B investigating and gathering information from multiple sources to assess whether an individual described in subparagraph A poses a threat based on articulable facts. And C, the subsequent management of such a threat, if necessary. End quote. Section 4. The Secretary of DHS shall establish a task force to be composed of 24 unelected and unaccountable experts appointed by the secretary. Most notably, there will be no constitutional rights attorneys or public defender representatives on the task force. Quote, the task force may propose to develop or change existing operating rules and procedures of the task force upon a majority vote of the task force. End quote. And more quote, it shall be the duty of the task force to provide recommendations to the appropriate committees on the development and implementation of a national strategy for preventing targeted violence through behavioral threat assessment and management, end quote. Section 7, quote, the secretary shall implement the national strategy and provide information and training services related to the national strategy at the request of any federal, state, local, or tribal government agency or private entity with protective or public safety responsibilities, end quote. Section 8, quote, The Secretary shall award grants to eligible entities to establish community-based behavioral threat assessment and management units that implement the national strategy, end quote. Cost? 
$25 million for each of fiscal years 2020 through 2024. Okay, digest that for a while. We have here the infrastructure of a pre-crimes unit, formerly the subject of only science fiction movies. Now, let's move on to bill number two, the law of suspects. And I quote, The National Convention, having heard the report of its legislative committee on the method of bringing into effect its decree of the last 12 August, decrees the following. Article 1. Immediately after publication of this decree, all suspect people who are to be found on the territory of the Republic and who are still in freedom will be put under arrest. 2. Considered as suspect people are 1. Those who, either by their conduct or their relations or by their words or writing, have shown themselves to be partisans of tyranny or of federalism and enemies of freedom. 2. Those who cannot justify in the manner prescribed by the decree of last 21 March their means of existence and the acquittal of their civic duties. 3. Those to whom have been denied certificates of good citizenship. 4. Public officials who have been suspended or discharged from their functions by the National Convention or its commissioners and have not been reinstated, notably those who have been or ought to be discharged under the law of last 14 August. 5. Those former nobles with their husbands, wives, fathers, mothers, son or daughters, brothers or sisters, and agents of emigres, who have not consistently demonstrated their commitment to the revolution. Six, those who have emigrated during the interval between 1 July 1789 and the publication of the law of 8 April 1792, even if they have returned to France within the time prescribed by that law or earlier. End quote. So, I gave it away. The TAPS Act was introduced in 2019 in Washington, D.C., and the Law of Suspects was decreed in Paris in 1793. The leader of the Committee of Public Safety and the Committee of Public Prosperity was one Maximilien Robespierre. Between 1793 and 1794, it is estimated that nearly half a million Frenchmen were accused suspects, and arrested. Most never stood trial. An estimated 10,000 died in prison, and the total executed by guillotine was nearly 17,000. All in the name of threat assessment and management. All in the name of necessity. As William Pitt the Younger said to the British House of Commons in 1783, quote, Necessity is the plea for every infringement of human freedom. It is the argument of tyrants. It is the creed of slaves, end quote. My opponent, Jim Banks, is a co-sponsor of H.R. 838, the TAPS Act. I, on the other hand, would never sponsor or vote in favor of such an unconstitutional assault on your God-given natural rights of life, liberty, and property. The Republican Party primary election of May 5, 2020 is of vital importance. The voters of Indiana's 3rd Congressional District will be asked to make a choice which will affect not only their lives and liberties, but those of their children and grandchildren and generations yet unborn. I urge you to vote for someone who will always follow the Founders' Constitution. No exceptions. Vote for Dr. Chris McGarra for Congress. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, or share. I'm Chris McGarra, and I approve this message. 
paid for by friends at Chris Madeira Incorporated.